Okay, well this one I'm just going to show you how um, to actually, well not show you how to, but um, show you that there is a, a bug in the recovery um, that comes with version 2.7.1 uh, and uh, 3.02 and 3.03 eBoot, uh, or shall I say the um, OEE and SE edition. Um, the, the recovery does work, but when I f when I go along and brick this PSP, the recovery doesn't work. Um, so I'll show you how to actually recover it from that. Well, shall I say I'll I'll do it and then I'll come back with a proper tutorial on how to do it at the moment because I haven't got much time. Um, this is the version 3.02 OEE uh, OEA. Um, what I'm doing is actually going to upgrade it to 3.0, it says 3.02 OEA but it's actually 3.03 firmware it's just a 3.02 OEA um, e-boot uh, so that means it can't flash the 3.03 and stuffs the PSP I'll try and get a closer shot so you can read it. It's flashing with the 1.5 and then when it does the 3.03 or 3.02 you'll see an error message. Like right now. There you go. Error message. So it's stuffed the PSP. It'll eventually turn off. Okay, turn it back on, use the power light, and all you see is the uh, the light over here to try to access and can't do nothing. So the PSP is stuffed, pretty much bricked. So I'll show you how to recover that. and actually show you that the recovery that's actually in there that's supposed to recover the PSP won't recover it you got to run the PSP recovery run that does the same thing, power lights on and the drive just keeps flashing So it's stuffed. Um, I found did a bit. Of, uh, it actually happened to me by accident, which quite freaked me out. I thought, "Oh, here we go, spend some more money, get a new PSP." But I eventually fixed it. Um, I found a way of doing it, and I created a new um, recovery which um, I'll eventually show you later on how to do it, it's not hard to do uh, just turn this PSP back on Okay, now as soon as we run this for recovery, it will now reinstall and reflash 3.03 or th uh, 3.03 or 3 yeah 3.03 I think it is. It just, I mean, I've seen a lot of people online going, oh, my PSP's bricked, you know, I can recover it. I'm sick of that. 
and I'm sure you guys are too. Um, this is actually, this is full proof that I've actually done it. I've bricked the PSP and recovered it and bypassed the original recovery that uh, couldn't work, so or didn't work when it's supposed to. Um, it has worked in the past, but this time it actually stuffed the recovery, and so now I. I found a way of doing it. I mean, it's not hard. You'll find it online. Possibly someone else has done it. Um, and I'll come. Uh, it, all it really is is just mainly um, reflashing it again. Just instead of um, trying to reflash it, we put the flashing files in and call the directory folder recovery and put it in the game folder. That's it. Done. It's not hard to do. But I know I've heard a lot of people out there on forums have done it and they s exactly the same thing happens so this would fix it. Done. So now the PSP is working again. I'll just reboot it again. So there you go. Possible. Can be done. Don't prick your PSP on purpose, it's just proof that uh, recovery has got a flaw in it and it still can be fixed so don't throw your PSPs away. Alright, see you guys.